What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today I have an opening, unboxing and just general look around of this power bank. So this company, Olala, reached out to me um, the other day and sent me a few things that they you know, sell and they said, would you like to try any of these things? Being how I am with power banks, I said yes, I'll take the power bank and I'll review um, kind of what I like about it, what I don't. This is totally all my opinion. I wasn't, this is not a sponsored video besides them just sending me this product. So there will, there will be a link down in the description and a, and a discount code that they provided for my subscribers and just anybody who's watching this video. So let's get right into it. So I did put this back together just so that we could kind of look over it, but I believe that's how you pronounce the name. I'm not exactly sure. Olala, it's the best I've come up with, but this is a power bank for um, specifically supposed to be and you can see it there for iphone ipad ipod um, but you don't have to use it for just that and i'll show you that in a minute because it has a built-in lightning connector which is really nice and that was the main reason why i wanted this one so six thousand milliamp hours and then you can kind of see some of the stats on the back here i'll we'll kind of get close so you can look if you want to pause and look over that if you you know are interested later but the the main idea of this for me is that it's smaller it has a built-in cable that I don't have to carry around extra and that it will charge my phone and my tablet. So it'll charge other things too. And we'll get into that. So it kind of slides off. It has this cardboard box. Um, I've noticed a lot of more affordable electronics use this almost exact packaging because I don't know if you knew this, but packaging adds a lot of cost for a lot of products. So that really nice packaging that you see that that added to the price in general. So I, I appreciate stuff like this because I know that this kind of thing kept the cost down. So you just kind of lift the tab here and there's a couple of pieces of paperwork. So an informational booklet or you don't need that. And then some, you know, a feedback card asking you to leave them a review or to let them know what went wrong possibly. So power bank is here. We'll take that out and put it to the side. And then it does come with a micro USB charging cable and then that's pretty much it. That's what's in the box. So that is one of the cons so far. I wish it was USB-C or lightning. I mean, they're already paying Apple to use a lightning connector. That's part of their subsidy or whatever it's called. Um, so it is what it is. So here's the cable that comes with it. It is pretty short, um, but it'll do the job. So this can be used to charge the power bank or you can actually use this to plug into one side if you have something that'll charge for micro usb so taking a look around it's just like a smooth uh, plastic design it's it's um it's really nice and lightweight in the hand but it's it's also you can tell it does have a good quality to it this this side railings and things look like metal but it's not the whole thing is plastic so that does help actually with it being portable as it is because I don't have to carry a really heavy power bank. So on the top rail here is where everything is. There's not really much around the rest of the device or on the back besides some regulatory info. But on the top here, you can see there's a built-in lightning connector, the charge in and then the charge out. So this pulls out and it stays in there. It can't be removed. This is how it always will be unless you know something happens to it but this is how how it is so it's not super long probably two two and a half inches total um and then you have the charge in and i can use this cable that it came with to show you so you would plug in here to charge and then you can also do out so if you don't have an iphone ipad ipod or something that uses lightning you can charge out here too so you could use USB C, you could use micro usb whatever uses a usb that could charge that direction can still be used for this. So what I like and kind of the pros, like I already said, was, was how light and compact and just you have everything you need right here. So if this is charged, this button, by the way, will show you your power indicator. So this is fully charged. If I have this somewhere, like a good example for me would be um, <clears throat> like Disneyland if I'm out on a trip or on vacation. It's got really similar dimensions to my phone, so it's a little thicker, it's a little shorter, but overall it, it's, you know, it's the size of my phone. So what I've been doing, or the way that I use it is I'll take it out, plug it in, it starts charging by itself, or you can trigger it through that, and then you can kind of hold it like this. 
So this feels just like I'm using a thicker phone. You could put this in your pocket this way. Um, but the, the benefit of this is one, I don't have a separate cable that is taking up space or that I have to keep in a different area Two, it's, it's lightweight enough that I can have it on the back of my phone and not be annoyed with how thick it is. So to give you an example, what I mean by that, I have a couple others here that are obviously higher capacity, but the trade-off for that, <clears throat> excuse me, the trade-off for that is that they are huge. So I have this one. This is a new trend. This is 12,000 milliamp hour. So it's double the capacity, but it's also hugely thick. It's a big square. It's a very awkward shape and you need a cable. It doesn't come with a cable. So the two outs are here. This one's not super reliable all the time, but um, I do like it. It's just, you know, it's huge. Um, the input is here, same, same kind of stuff, power button, and then the two outputs. So same as this, it has two. Technically you have the iPhone one here and then another device here. Then we have something huge. This is what I would normally carry for like a bigger trip. So the, the issue with this is this whole thing is made out of metal, which you find with a lot of bigger ones because they have to take a beating, which is nice, but it's this thing is super heavy. It's not even close to the Olala one. Um, this is also 20,000 milliamp hour. So you're talking about more than three times the capacity, but look at with this cable wrapped around. Um, I kind of have to carry it like this just so that I don't lose it. Um, it also has two outputs. It has a charge in here and then same thing, a button here to give you an indicator. So it has the same kind of stuff, but you're talking, you know, a huge difference. So you saw that on this phone, but this, if I were to charge it, if I want to kind of carry this around, it's not, it's not really the same deal. So, you know, if you have this somewhere like on vacation, a good example, like I said, is Disneyland. This thing is huge. You got this big cable flopping all over the place. So. And, and you know, this is not to say that this one is better than other ones. I'm just saying that this might be better for you, um, you know, in certain situations. So I do like it. I'm glad that they sent it out to me. Um, again, this isn't sponsored in any way, but I'll leave the links down below. They just were nice enough to reach out and asked if I wanted to, to try it out. And, and I give it a thumbs up. I really do like it. Um, and it is what it is. It does charge faster, but it dies faster too. And that's what you have with these big, super high capacity batteries. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, you know, I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out yourself, as well as that coupon code that they offered. Um, but yeah, this has just been, you know, a super quick video. I just wanted you guys to see this and, and that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys next time and we'll see you later.